Hi friends, I'm Jeff EG. I've had Automate for a while and I'm pretty impressed, but there's two new features that I want to talk about. One is the harmony capability and the other is the 94 voices they're making available. Now one of the things I like about Automate over other pitch or harmony type tools is that they use real voices. They use your voice or a singer's voice as a model but then they clone it and add professional voices. I always find the quality of this is way better than any other harmonizing tool. So in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate and explain how to use the Harmony features of Automate. I'm also gonna show you some tricks and tips and some of the advanced features that they have to offer. Then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna demonstrate how Automate compares to some of the traditional plugins that you're probably used to. And then you can decide which ones sound better. Now, if you're new to Automate, I did create another video some time ago that explains how it generally works. There's a link up above and there's a link in the description. If you're just learning how to use Automate, take a look at that video. And one last thing, there is a link in the description to try Automate for free or to sign up for one of their plans. The first thing you're gonna do is go to the Automate website. Once you're logged on, click on Convert. To the left, you're gonna see Make Harmonies in Beta. And remember, we're cloning and replacing vocals with professional vocals. That's generally the approach for Automate. First thing we need to do is have an audio file as our model. And you can drag and drop a file into this location here, or you can upload one. I'm gonna drag an audio file from an old song called Carry Me Over, and this is just the lead vocals. The AI engine is gonna predict what key it's in if you don't already know. You can preview the vocal track. If you're lonely tonight, if you're lonely, come and find me. Just to verify that it has been uploaded. And then you get to pick the key. If the AI engine thinks it's in D major or you know it's in D major, then you're gonna select that key. If you know that it's in a different key, you're gonna select that different key because the harmony tracks are all gonna be relative to the key that you select. So here I'm gonna add a track. First thing I can do is pick a voice and I can pick from over, I don't know, 20 or 30 different vocalists and I can filter which vocalists I wanna see based on these tags, male, female. So let's say I go for a female vocalist and I check Alyssa. And at this point, Alyssa can sing either the main melody or I can choose, say, a third higher, which is a good harmony to have. And since this source vocal has a very, very high range, I'm gonna lower this by one octave. You can see that goes to minus one. And I'm gonna add another track. I'm gonna choose a different female vocalist. So I, wanna let you know that my love and my I don't think that one will do. Let's try June. Remove all the bars. Yeah, that'll do. So I'll select June for the second vocalist. I'm gonna make that a fifth higher. That's why it says plus five. But once again, I'm gonna lower the octave. Now I'm gonna add a male vocalist. I'm just gonna choose Mark. Oh, yeah. He's got a pretty high voice, and I'm gonna have him sing the melody. Since it's a male vocal, I'm going to lower that also by an octave. And then I'm gonna add another male vocal. So we're gonna have four different parts here, and I'll choose Blake. And once again, I'm gonna have Blake not sing the melody, but a third higher. And once I've set that all up, I'm gonna click on convert. See over here on the right, it tells you what kind of progress it's making in terms of converting. Okay, now once it's finished, I can do several things. Now I can preview my results and then I could download them. On the preview, you've got the option to delete any of them or to solo any one of them. So on the preview, here's the lead. Will I see you? Cause I'll be up there tonight. I'll be feeling no right. See the night. I'll see you tonight. Oh no, I'll see you tonight. Now that preview feature on the Automy website is pretty good. Because it's server side, you can see the results before you leave their website and before you decide to download the actual Harmony files and bring them into your DAW. For example, if you wanted to add more Harmony tracks or you want to change the Harmony intervals or the octaves or you want to use a preset, you can do all of that on the website and when you're happy with what you've got, then make the decision to download it and pull these files into your DAW. I'm gonna to choose to download all the converted vocals and they're gonna go into my downloads directory. Once I download it, I get a zip file. 
and the zip file is made up of both processed and unprocessed sounds. So the processed ones include any panning and time shifting, which is built into the algorithm for harmonies. So I can listen to one of them. If you're lonely tonight, if you're lonely, come and find me. Let's hear one of the female voices. If you're lonely tonight, if you're lonely, come and find me. I'll be waiting for you. Remember, this is my lead track that I started with. If I'm not tonight. And I'm going to pull in some of those harmony tracks. First one I'm going to pull in is the June one. I may have to align these in a second. Then I'm going to pull in the second female backup, the male that sings the lead, and finally a Blake singing a third higher. If I'm not tonight, if I'm not tonight, I'll see you. Will I see you? Cause I'll be out there tonight. I'll be feeling alright. See you tonight. I'll see you tonight. And um, let's just hear if we had doubling of Gabriel singing the melody. If I'm at tonight, if I'm at tonight, I'll see you. Will I see you? And if we added Blake singing a third. If I'm at tonight, if I'm at tonight, I'll see you. Will I see you? Cause I'll be out there tonight. I'll be feeling alright, see the night, I'll see you the night. Oh no, I'll see you the night. Uh. Another pretty nifty feature are presets for the harmonies. Let's say you don't know that much about music theory, so you're not sure what the harmonies should be made out of. Well, once you've loaded the audio file, you can choose presets here. And there are some standard harmony type combinations. You'll see some of them have two or three voices, some of them have four or more, which is pretty good. So let's say you choose pop thirds and fifths, which is similar to what I've been doing. It pre-populates your harmony selection. And you could still change it if you want, but it gives you a head start, especially if you're not sure what type of harmonies you want to use in a particular song. Now, it's a good idea to start with a clean audio file when you're using Automate. Frankly, it's a good idea to have a clean model whenever you're going to add harmonies. So I'm starting with a song, and this is the lead vocal. But before I load this up to Automate for conversion, I want to get rid of the effects and clean it up a little bit. So I'm turning off the effects and I'm also going to get rid of the panning, which I think is in automation. Here we go. If I'm not tonight. And then I'm going to bounce this track out of Logic and use it as my input. I'm going to bounce it as a wave file. It's picked up the range. Let's call that lead vocal. There it is. Lead vocal as a wave file. If I'm not tonight. If I'm out tonight, I'll see you. One source of contention or debate is whether to use auto-tune or any pitch correction and when to do that in this process. In my case, I started with a pretty clean video where the singer generally sings in tune, so I didn't have to use any kind of pitch correction. If you're dealing with a vocal track that's not quite as good, I would recommend that you fix the pitch or any other kind of correction you need to do in your DAW before you export the file. Remember that this file is the model that Automy is going to use to generate those harmonies. And if you don't feel that comfortable about making those modifications at the front end of the process, there is now an editor built into Automy that does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Another new feature that I think is still in beta is the editor. So let's say you click on this editor link down at the bottom here. You can zoom in on any of the audio files that you're creating and you'll get like a Melodyne pitch editor type environment where it will show you things like the pitch adjustment, vibrato, drift, and cut. And you can make some corrective changes here if the intonation of the vocalist is not correct. So Automy is giving you everything you need really to make vibrato, pitch, and drift corrections in their server-side environment. Now you could decide to do these things on your own. And in my case, I prefer to use pitch and auto-tune in my source file or in my DAW. But if you don't have those facilities or you're not sure how to use them, this is a nifty little editor that lets you make these changes right in Automy before you download your files. I'll just give you a demo of some of the traditional plugins that people use for harmonies. One option is to use Nectar 4 Advanced from Isotope. 
and it looks like this. Now this is an all-round vocal processor that has compressors, EQs, and all kinds of effects, but one of the effects that you can add in is something called voices. And here's how voices sounds. Now I have voices just set up to, uh, I think, play an octave. If I'm not tonight, if I'm not tonight, I'll see you, will I see you? So you can hear that the second vocal that you're hearing is a highly affected copy of the original using kind of a, a DSP approach. That's a digital signal processor. If I'm not tonight, if I'm not tonight, I'll see you. So to make effective use of that, you would tweak the key. You can play around with the amount of formant but you can't actually change the voice. There's a, a fair number of limitations on the voices that you can actually use. There's another tool from Isotope uh, that will let you uh, modify the actual voice. Another very popular plugin is Waves Harmony, which is pretty good. If I'm not tonight, if I'm not tonight, I'll see you. And the way this works is you can move these harmony positions uh, left and right up. So here I've got a minor, make some adjustments to where that appears in the spectrum of sounds. Add, here's a minor second. If I'm not tonight. Well, that doesn't sound so good. If I'm not tonight, if I'm not tonight, I'll see you, will I see you? And like a lot of these plugins, there are presets for harmonies. So if you go into the harmony section and say, I just want a third below plus a fifth, you can pick that preset. You can pick any of these presets. There's a wide variety of options there. And like the other plugins, you've got some pitch adjustments you can make. Often harmonies are not perfectly in sync with the model. And so you might adjust the pitch by a few cents. What you're likely to do with these plugins is have them on separate tracks in your DAW. And that way they're not interfering with the original model and you can mix how much of that harmony you want in place. The last of the three of the traditional plugin approach is by Baby audio it's called humanoid it's getting a lot of attention it's been out for a little while and again it has a bunch of presets and it is another example of a plugin that affects your voice like the other ones you choose the key and this tool is more of a transformation tool, which is common in what you see with harmonizers. They're taking the original signal, processing it with filters or synthesizer, making pitch adjustments to give you a different output, a different sound. If I'm not tonight, if I'm not tonight, I'll see you. Hey, let's not forget. Automy is an AI vocal cloning tool. It's made to replace average vocals with professional sounding vocalists. If you found this video interesting and useful, click on the like button, add comments if you have questions, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.